So in this video, I'm going to talk about carrier-mediated transport as well as the types of carrier-mediated transport. So first, we'll start off with defining this. So carrier-mediated transport requires transport proteins. And so transport proteins transport proteins are in the plasma membrane plasma membrane and what they do is they carry solutes from one side of the membrane to the other so like stuff into or out of the cell and so these are really specific so these proteins are really specific and so the solute acts as a ligand and so a ligand is something that is specific to one receptor and the receptor is on the carrier protein and so the transport proteins or carrier proteins are specific for a specific ligand so they only transport um, whatever it's specified for so it's similar to enzymes similar specificity to enzymes and so as you can imagine you're gonna reach a point where you have so much you could reach a point where there's so much solute concentration and then there's it just fills up all of the carrier molecules and that's called the transport maximum but that's not like too important so there are different types of transport proteins which we'll talk about right now so there's uniport I'll separate them symport and antiport oops miss that. and so let's talk about uniport first so uniport carries one solute at a time and so what that means is let's say the protein is here the membrane is there there is essentially one solute that could fit into there so let's use red as a solute so it goes either in or out depending on the uh, carrier but the important part to remember is that it carries one solute at a time symport carries two two solutes so in the same direction the same direction that's important so let's say we have a protein here there would be a channel that could carry two things so let's say we'll have something in red and another solute in blue going in one direction either in or out and then antiport is finally two solutes but in opposite directions and so once again give an example of that so let's say the protein is there. I'll erase that. 
and then that's the channel. So one solute is going to go down this way, and another one is going to go up this way, so opposite directions. And then there are two types of methods that they use for this. They either the proteins transport the molecules by facilitated diffusion or active transport. And so that's essentially a summary of carrier mediated transport and the types of membrane carriers. So there are three types, remember that. Um, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like it and share it with your friends.